Hello and welcome to this week's vlog from Madison's. Well, there was some interesting data out this morning. Rightmove reported that the £1 million plus market is now selling at a quicker rate outside of the capital city of London. Harpenden, St Albans, Bristol and Cambridge were in the top four. In fact, Cambridge, it takes just 45 days at the moment to sell a property priced at £1 million plus. Another interesting article out which shows that uh, how people just aren't moving house as frequently as they used to. Indeed at the moment they're moving house every 19.8 years whereas back in 1988 it was every 7.4 years. The reason for this is uh, affordability is quoted by many of them. 58% say that they just simply can't afford to either get onto the property ladder for the first time or indeed be what's called a second stepper, move up the property ladder to their next purchase. Um, but some also cited a lack of stock. They just feel nervous about listing their property, selling it and then not finding their onward purchase. Um, so that was really interesting report out from the Homeowners Alliance. Well, if you're thinking of escaping abroad, it's summer on the, uh, on the horizon here. And I've been looking at two really great properties that have fabulous sea views. The first is based in uh, Mallorca, Spain, in the Dea region. And it's an unbelievable one-bedroom finca that overlooks the Mediterranean Sea. Um, it's a really small home set in this uh, Tromontana Mountains, but it would make the perfect little escape pot and it's uh, priced at just uh, 790,000 euros. But the other end of the scale, we have a glorious 10,000 square foot luxury villa in Crete, uh, just, out, just off the, um, the mainland of Greece. It's uh, just outside the elite tourist area of Ilunda and has six bedrooms, a private pool, a tennis court, a 300 metre shoreline with a private dock and indeed every single room has either a balcony or a patio to access the gardens. That one is priced at just over 10 million euros or looking closer to home. I've been looking at some period properties that we've launched this week. We've got two really wonderful ones to treat you and tempt you with. Firstly, Vale House, just outside West Farley. This is priced at £1.9 million and is a really glorious example of a Georgian property. It has 5,000 square feet spread across the main house, the annex and the studio gym, and has a really lovely setting backing onto farmland with a stream running through the garden, and it's presented in absolutely first-class condition. Then we also have Forge Cottage based in the right in the centre of Plaxtol. This is priced at £875,000 and it's a Grade 2 listed building that was built in 1629. It was formerly two cottages uh, but is a deceptively spacious inside. It's got three receptions, five bedrooms and a delightful garden. Do give in get in touch with us if either of those would appeal to you and you'd like to ask any questions or arrange a viewing. Well, the final thing I'd like to mention, uh, many of you uh, might realise, some of you might not know, I'm an ambassador for Eleanor. Eleanor's a wonderful charity that looks to provide both hospice and in-home care to terminally ill children. And last Saturday, I was delighted to be one of the sponsors at their Midsummer Ball based at St Clair, just outside Kemsing. It was a really intimate and wonderful evening, and I'm delighted to say that on the night, they raised just over £44,000, which is enough to give two hours respite care to uh, 11 children for the next year, uh, two hours a week that is. So that's really wonderful charity and something that's very close to my heart. We do hope you have a good week and we look forward to seeing you next week. Bye bye.